up if you're starting your day early. We are seeing temperatures warmer compared to yesterday morning just because we had some clouds in the area thanks to a weak system that just kind of clipped us overnight. That's all we saw were those clouds in our area. They have since cleared and we are seeing mostly sunny conditions this uh, this morning. Those sunny conditions will last into this afternoon, but with that we have a cooler air mass in place. So temperatures are going to be anywhere between 5 to 10 degrees cooler compared to yesterday. We're going to see more widespread 60s out there versus 70s this afternoon. Uh, but with that, we are actually seasonable. The right temperature is right where they should be for this time of year. Now, uh, we do have a little interesting low here. This low sitting in the Rockies, that's going to help develop an offshore flow. So that's actually going to continue to help us stay on the dry side and seasonable temperatures as we head into the holiday weekend. We are going to have some breezy conditions this afternoon into tomorrow as well. And that cold air mass not going anywhere. In fact, tomorrow afternoon, temperatures will be even a bit cooler, uh, anywhere between a few degrees cooler compared to what we're going to see this afternoon. But again, cooler, but still seasonable. And that's what we're going to see as we head into the weekend. Holiday weekend looking very nice with plenty of sunshine for you to enjoy. We're going to continue to see those clear skies as we head into the early part of next week. We are keeping an eye on this system here. That looks like it could arrive around Wednesday. We have a better chance of rain as we head into the first weekend of December, but we'll continue to track that for you. We do, because of those clear nights, we'll have some very cold temperatures setting in. So we do have a frost advisory and freeze watch going into effect. This will start tomorrow. So we are going to see this for the southern portion of the Salinas Valley, the San Antonio Valley, as well as the mountain ranges in San Benito County and most of the interior locations of San Benito County. This includes the Diablo Range and the Gablin Range. This also includes Pinnacles National Parks, so the mountains, the interior mountains, I should say, not the coastal mountains, but the interior mountains of Monterey County. So for Tomorrow morning, 4 a.m. to 10 a.m., we're going to see temperatures dropping into those 30s. Uh, we are going to have the chance for some frost to form. And then as we head into Friday evening into Saturday morning, we have that freeze watch that will go into effect. We're going to see temperatures even cooler in those 20s and 30s. So we have some chilly nights ahead of us. Good reminder, just remember the four Ps, people, pets, pipes, and plants. Make sure to bring any of those sensitive plants indoors. Make sure to keep those pets nice and warm. Uh, maybe bring them inside if they typically are outside livestock. Make sure they're being kept warm in a sheltered location. And of course, make sure those pipes that are exposed are wrapped up nicely. Uh, we are going to have a few low clouds hanging out around the southern portion of the bay. They are going to be kind of patchy low clouds, so we're not expecting anything widespread. Most of us, though, will be under mostly sunny skies throughout the afternoon and those clear conditions will continue through the overnight hours into tomorrow morning. Again, this is why we're going to see those temperatures fall, plus a cooler air mass in place. But we are expecting very pleasant afternoons ahead for this holiday weekend. Temperatures for this afternoon, your Thanksgiving highs are looking like those upper 60s on the north side of the bay, mid 60s for the San Lorenzo Valley, mid 60s for those higher elevations as well. Heading down the coast, it will be warmer on the north side of the bay with those upper 60s. Cooler though as you head south, Toward Marina at 64, 68 in Salinas, 70 in Hollister. We'll be in those upper 60s to low 70s in the Santa Clara Valley. Cool spot today will be the Monterey Peninsula with those low 60s for Pacific Grove and Pebble. That's because our winds have shifted. We are seeing winds out of the north again, but most of the peninsula will actually be sitting in those low to mid 60s this afternoon. Warm spots will be in the Salinas Valley with upper 60s to low 70s. Low 70s for the Big Sur Coast and upper 60s for Carmel Valley.